the Ultimate Tank build in collaboration with Aquamedic. Okay guys, my Aquamedic build has finally started. Now, as you can see, this pallet was way too big to fit up my steep driveway, so it looks like I'll be taking everything up one by one. Well, let's go see what's inside these boxes. All right guys, it's time to open this bad boy up. All right, this one is rusted shut. I'll be right back. Now, first thing I do wanna thank is Aquamedic for sponsoring this build. Um, a lot of companies, I have to tell you guys, don't want to put in the effort to spend any money for marketing um, with us YouTubers. And, and, and the YouTube channels, a lot of them are the ones who put a lot of these companies on the map. So I opened up about four of these already uh, filming, but I forgot to cut on the audio. So um, you'll see it's not Aquamedic's fault uh, the way the things are uh, boxed. I opened them up, but I forgot to cut on the audio. So um, anyway, um, it's about, probably about five items, these five items I have right here that I opened up already, but now I should be an expert at unboxing. We're going to start this with the aqua spoon. All right, here it is right here. Uh, it's a spoon for uh, measuring, spoon scale for measuring. So it, it's also a scale, which is pretty cool. All right, so I did open this already when the audio wasn't on. Uh, we're gonna open it again. And if you guys have any tips for things I should do in the next unboxings, let me know. All right, so here's the box right here. It's empty. Yep, nothing else is in it. So now, one thing I always like to know is if the product comes with instructions. So it does come with instructions. Comes with instructions in lots of different languages. Uh, German, I believe this is French right here. Um, definitely English and Spanish um, and a few more in the back if English is not your primary language um, so inside the box and like I said this was securely in here when I initially opened it uh, you have uh, the main device that you'll be using which is the measurer right there or the scale I should guess I should say and then you have two measuring spoons right here uh, this spoon goes from 5 milliliters all the way up to 45 milliliters right here. That's the biggest spoon that they have. And the second spoon, which is smaller, goes from 5 milliliters um, up to 25 milliliters. And it does come with batteries. The batteries are not in the device. And I, I like that when the, the batteries are not in the device, um, even when I'm using stuff outside of the aquarium industry, because... I feel like it drains the battery. Uh, so right now, uh, hopefully uh, these batteries will you know, have a long life uh, because they have not been in the device yet. This right here is the Aquamedic phosphate uh, filter. Now, I think I'm saying that right. I mean, I know phosphate, how to say that, but this is phos, is it phosphate filter? Phosphate, phosphate? I think it's phosphate filter. It's the way they spelled it. I think it's phosphate filter. It could be phosphate. But anyway, all right, let's open it. Now, I did open this one, like I said before, when the audio was not on. And I guess I was talking to myself. Okay, so first, we have this inside. And I really like the way uh, this looks. Uh, maybe because it looks like chocolate. And I love chocolate, but no, seriously. Um, it seems like it's, it's very well uh, constructed. Um, it's not meant to be twisted. I believe you're supposed to, supposed to use this until you're done with it and then you would buy another one. Now I do know, because I did this before, that this lasts um, three to six months. All right, don't roll like you did in the last video. Okay. It does come with instructions. Uh, the, the instructions are in um, a few different languages. All right, and uh, it does, does come with all the different pieces to uh, hang it up. So 
So you have your rings to hold it. This hold one would hold the top and one would hold the bottom of their reactor or filter. And then this will hold it on to the aquarium. These pieces right here. And this is uh, the back of it. I mean, you guys, most of you guys know um, how to use these, but you can put it at different levels. And this will go here. The bottom, the bottom one will go there. And then, you know, the, the reactor or filter will sit right there for those of you guys who are new to the aquarium hobby. I did open this one already too. I really like this one. It is a Defroster Plus. Now, I haven't used it with food yet, but from the unboxing I did by myself, I really liked it. The Defroster Plus by Aquamedic. And now, uh, one thing I will tell you guys while I'm unboxing this is that Aquamedic, what I like about them, and the reason why I did this build with them is because they're not only a manufacturer, they're a distributor. So I'll have a few products that are not from Aquamedic. Uh, in this build. So that's why I did it. Uh, they did not go to these manufacturers and ask them for um, the products. They just, out of their own pocket, provided me with them. And that is why I'm able to give my honest opinion on every single product. Uh, this, they didn't, like, I, I always tell companies, my opinion can't be bought. Now, you can buy some space on my channel so you can talk about your products yourself. And I'll give you that spotlight if you help me get to Mac, they'll help me get to Reefa Palooza. But if I'm personally going to say I love this product, it can't be bought. I'm just gonna give you what I feel um, is a great product. You know, if it comes from my mouth that this product is great, then it's me. No, company can't buy that. All right, so we have the Defroster Plus. Right here, it does come with instructions. I always like to see if a product comes with instructions because um, I hate products that come and you don't know what to do with them. So when you first open the box, this is how it came. Uh, everything is in here. And I was like, hey, well, what's inside of here? So you take off the top. You'll have a one syringe right here. Okay, you have one syringe. And then you also have uh, aqua amino bit, uh, which I will get to. I will talk a little bit about that. And then you have your uh, container, which you can put your frozen food in and you can strain it. So I haven't used this yet. I did read the directions in the other one, um, in the other <laughs> box that I did by myself. But so you put your, your food in here um, and then I get, you can rinse it in here or you can just put uh, fresh water in here and then you use this to give amino acids. Let's see if I can get it. show you guys, my little uh, beauty girl, <laughs> um, to give your uh, fish or invertebrates and fresh water or salt water uh, amino acids and um, vitamins. That's what this is right here. So this is gonna be pretty cool to use. I, I mean, I really can't wait. I love feeding my fish various foods. Of course, you guys know, I definitely do uh, feed my fish, um, Reef Frenzy. They did not pay me for, when you see me on Facebook talking about Reef Frenzy, I really just love the food. Um, but um, I also feed my uh, fish lots of pellet foods too because I, I use automatic feeders because I'm gone a lot traveling, so I have to use automatic feeders. So I, I really can't wait to see. Um, now, I'm not sure if you just can use this on on frozen food, these vitamins, but I would really like to use it on um, on some some of my pellet food to give it a little bit uh, extra vitamins in it. I'm not sure, we'll, we'll, we'll come, I'll ask Aquamedic about that, but I would really like to use this on my pellet food as well in my, feed, in my automatic feeder. Some people always complain that my videos are too short, um, but I, I hope you guys like a longer video when you're seeing the real me. Real, son. Real, no, but no, real. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna kill. Okay, I may cut this stuff out <laughs> where I'm opening. Trying, I don't know. It, that bothers me that that is right there and not back in the box. I want everything to be neat. That that just bothers me. I'm just sorry. I just want everything back in the box neat for you guys. I may cut this out, I may leave it in. Maybe you guys might like to know that I'm anal and not come to my house and make a mess. Because we will have to throw hands. We will. 
Yeah. Now it's neat. Okay, I haven't opened this yet. All right. So now this is the DC Runner 1.2. DC Runner 1.2. It's a pump. And uh, it also comes with a controller. It does, um, I believe, 1,200 liters an hour. Yeah, I believe it does 1,200 liters. Yeah, 1,200 liters an hour. And it's 24 watts. I did open this before. That's why you see it like this. It's not all sealed. Um, so I did have my scissors. I did open it before. Um, and so the first thing we have, of course, is the plug. Now, it does come with, here's the plug. It does come with lots of different, um, you know, adapters for your plug. So just in case you live in other countries, it has all these different outlets. Of course, this would be ours right here in the US. But it has about, and three other ones for uh, other countries. All right. So then we have the pump. So this is the DC runner controller. It seems self-explanatory. Um, you have your positive and your negative to turn the pump up and down. So you can increase and decrease the flow. And I really, really I like that. I have not had a pump yet where I can do that. Maybe a lot of you other guys have, but I have not. So this is the pump. Now this is, um, it looks pretty small. Um, I'm going to compare it. This is the S5 right here, my S5. And this is the size compared to my phone. So this is, I think, the last thing that I did open in my private unboxing. Uh, I want to put this back neat. I really do. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. All right. So this is active carbon. And you can use this um, in fresh water or um, salt water. So let's see if I can find the one I opened. So there's six in here. All right. And here you go. Let's see. Let's see. There's six in there. And it is called Aquamedic uh, Carbolite. Carbolite. 4 mm. Is that millimeters? Mm? Mm. Millimeters, I think. Not sure. But uh, it's really fun. Uh, you will have to rinse it. And I'm even excited about the carbon. Uh, I, I can't wait to use it. I mean, I, I, like, I have stuff that I normally use for years, but I'm excited to see new things because I, me, as, as you see, I'm a little bit anal uh, when it comes to certain things. And um, this is kind of going to force me to use things different uh, for a long time. I, I, I even I eat the same thing over and over. Uh, I just eat eggs in the morning, um, every morning, same thing, salt and pepper, nothing special in them, uh, maybe a protein shake, I, I'm just the same, I'm boring when it comes to uh, certain things, I just, I just like doing the same thing over and over, alright, so um, this right here I did not open, so now all this stuff I have not opened yet, alright, so this right here is, I got, oh a light, oh, that's cool, Alright, so, alright, it does have instructions, but it does not come on yet. Alright, let's see. Oh, I'm sure you guys up here too. Alright, I like it. Looks very nice. I don't see batteries in here. Let's see if the battery's inside. I know I said I wasn't going to try to make things work, but I want to see... The battery came with it. Okay. So there's a battery in there, and there's a little white piece. A piece of plastic in there. Hmm, I didn't even know they were sending this. Alright, let's see. So, do they have English instructions? Alright, let's see. Okay, English. Please remove the plastic between batteries. In contact. So I, I get. I guess this was a little extra. Thanks, guys. Um, a light. 
Doesn't really say what it's, what it's for, but I'm, I'm guessing it's a light. I'm not sure if it's one of those lights like when you go to, um, for you guys who go to events a lot or frag swaps and uh, the lights over the tank, you want to see how they look how the corals look and you just shine this on there or it could just be a light to hold on your neck and and have when you're working in your equipment room if it's dark um, but I I really like it let's see I'll show you how bright it is and it looks pretty cool it says aquamatic on it blinding you guys I was blinding myself I was trying to blind you guys all right so we have that. All right, thanks, Aquamedic, uh, for that. All right, and so um, it says it has Aquamedic right here, and then it has Orphic on the inside. I've never used um, Orphic's lights before, other than this one. I really like these, um, and I did exactly. I, I'm I'm a big kid for those who who don't know me. You guys probably don't really know me, but so on the directions uh, for these, it does have directions and things you should do with this light and things you shouldn't do. Um, so uh, when I first tried this light out, this was about a year ago at Reef Palooza, California. I was with Harry from Reef Hobbies Magazine and we read the directions and it said do not shine off of balconies or impersonate police officers or shine in people's faces. And the first thing I did was went to the hotel balcony and um, shine this light. So it's not coming on yet. I'm guessing you have to uh, maybe uh, do the same thing with the battery. Now this one looks like it has the batteries. Oh, okay, so it does not come with batteries, so I have to add some batteries. Sorry, guys. But I, mean, I have to tell you, I love these lights. I use them all the time. I, I take them with me to every show. Um, I love these little lights. They're really powerful. I use them. I keep one in my car. I have two of them. So I keep one in my car and I keep one in my camera bag as part of the equipment I bring to every show. When I'm looking for something, when I go to weddings and I'm filming, sometimes like at the receptions, it's dark and I'm looking for my equipment, I use this light all the time. Highly, highly, highly recommend uh, this light. I know this is an unboxing, not a recommendation, but I do love this light. So I guess I have used Orphic Light. I just haven't used one in my tank. Um, you know, at this point, but I love this little light. We have a multi reactor. All right, here, let's show you guys from the aerial view. All right, I have not opened this one. Uh, it's an all in one filter system. So I'm guessing you can put anything you want in here. All right, yep, so it still has plastic on it. Like I said I have not opened this one yet. Make sure it's still getting sound. We are. All right. Okay. So, yeah, I'm guessing this holds the neck right there, and uh, you hold it like that. Let's take it off the bag. All right. So this one it comes with its own pump, which I always like. All right. So you put your media. In here oh you know what okay so hopefully my magna video is out by then I, I remember uh, him talking about this in the magna video I did uh, no well the magna video for this one it was out because that's the automatic one but my magna videos I usually put out all my event coverage right away the reason why I didn't is because I lost like 35% of my footage and so I have companies saying, Thomas, when the video's coming out? Thomas, when the video's coming out? And I'm like, chill. You know, I don't charge them, you know, to, you know, film them in the video. So I'm like, you know, chill out. You, you got, it's, it's, it was free. You know, don't be bugging me when it's free. Um, but I was just bummed. I, I lost 35% of my footage. Um, and I was just bummed. So I started editing it. And every time I edit it, I'm looking for a specific shot. Uh, like B-roll, like B-roll really makes event coverage, and I lost mo a lot of it. What I lost is B-roll. So right now you just see people talking, and to me that's boring. I even though you're watching me talking, but I'm showing you cool stuff. Um, so anyway, that's what happened with my Macna videos. I'm still upset about it. So I, I may put it out this week. I still have to edit it, but I, I just bummed. That never happened to me before. Um, what happened to my footage 
is when I got home, I laid out all my SD cards. I have a puppy. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you see him. He's big now. He's about a year old, so he's not a puppy anymore. But uh, one of my cards must have fell on the floor, and I hear him chewing on something, and it's my SD card. And I put it in. There was just no way to get the footage off. It just kept saying unreadable, unreadable. I'm still bummed about it. All right, but we're going back to this. All right, all-in-one filter system. And um, this turned into a rant, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but this is an all-in-one reactor. And what was so cool about this reactor that I loved when I seen it at the event, like I said, I haven't used it personally yet, but I, I really wanted one. And um, when you clean it, if you guys have reactors a lot of times, you know, a lot of times you got to unscrew the top and then take, you know, the whole reactor out. You got to try to pour the water without having it fall on the floor when you're emptying out your reactors. This one, you just pull up. The water can drain out in here. And then um, that, that is just awesome. That, that's awesome. Uh, it's right there. And then you can just, uh, you know, change out your media without having to worry about all that water. So I haven't used this one yet, but I love it already. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I'm so happy I had this thing. All right, so I have two more things. Um, the last one is, is a big boy toy. So um, I'm excited to, to go to that one. All right, so this right here, I've always wanted one of these two. Um, I've seen one from another company. Uh, before and uh, this one looks pretty cool all right let's see so what what this is open this first for you guys those be unboxing so this looks to be about doo -doo -doo, maybe about two feet and then it can extend all right here it is and then this is so you can medicate or feed um, feed corals. Um, I wonder, you can probably even, um, like if you have aptasias and you're trying to kill them, you could probably even put that in, in here. And because um, it has these little, uh, little fine tipped, fine tips, sharp tips. And that could probably get in there, but you can um, also, uh, you know, spot feed or direct feed your corals with this. And as a extender, you could just. I said I don't, I don't know how to use. I think. Okay, yeah, I think this is how it'll go. You would put it in here, and then you would press down there. And last, but definitely not least. All right. When I seen this, I was excited because I have not had a doser as of yet. Can you guys see it from this top view? Okay. All right. So I have not had a doser as of yet. So this is Aquamedics Reef Doser Quadro. And because you can dose up to four different things, which is cool. I like the, the picture, I'm kind of off topic, but it looks like the corals are growing over the doser. I know, I'm crazy. All right, so I have not opened this one either. Let's go for this side. Let's go for this side. Let's see. I know it's a change of pace, right? Uh, for the video. Because last week I was traveling in the video and you see me pick up my tank. The week before that, you see me breaking down my tank and now we're doing unboxings for the next two videos. Uh, okay, so I do not like <laughs> breaking boxes. But I may have opened that wrong. I probably could have opened it without breaking it, but. Alright, so this is the reef doser. I am very excited about this. Alright, instructions 
It comes with instructions. Okay. I love that. Definitely need instructions for this. But like I said, I have never had a doser before. So I definitely need instructions on how to use this. Uh, I'm my own doser. I dose myself. Okay. And these are the ends to the doser, which I guess all the liquid comes through. The things that are dosing. The syringes. And uh, let's see. And this is the whole setup. It's pretty nice size. I, I mean, I'm excited. I've always wanted a doser. I don't know. Not that I didn't have the money to buy it. I don't know why I never bought one. I, I just, um, I don't know. I, I guess I just kind of like doing it myself. But now that I travel so much, this is really going to be big. Because I, I mean, this is called the ultimate tank fill. And so, even though it's a 90 gallon tank, I mean, I want this tank to be crazy. Not only eco friendly, I, I mean, I want to get some awesome fall growth. All right, nicely wrapped. And uh, can you guys see it? All right, so um, this is the reef doser. I am really looking forward to this. Now, I have no idea how to use it. Um, I've never used a doser, like I said, so I can't even pretend to say where these go. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure they go somewhere here. But um, I'm really excited about this. I kind of want to open one more box. I mean, this was fun. I'm not sure if you guys want to see another box. Do you guys want me to just wait till next week? Can we open something? Oh, yeah. you want, let's open up one more thing. All right, let's open up one more thing. One more thing. I'm not sure if you guys are liking this. I know it's a long video. But uh, I want to do something different and give you guys an unboxing. I may edit this down a little bit. Right now, if I left it, um, oh yeah, this probably this is probably a 30 minute video. <laughs> I may edit this video down. I, I don't like long videos um, to give to you guys. I like to just give you the meat and potatoes. It may still be long. It still may be 15 minutes, but I may cut out some of this stuff here. We need to just yap her in a way. But don't talk about how anal I am because I will ban you. No, I'm kidding. I may ban you. I'm not sure. No, I'm kidding. All right. All right. So that's the reef doser. I will not be anal. I'll just let it go there. I'm going to open up one more thing for you guys. I don't know what this is. Is this the extra doser? It's called mm, hmm, uh, Nivea Umat. Nivea Umat. Maybe I think that's how you say it. You guys can tell me if you want. Oh, this is the top off? Oh, this may be an auto top off. I think that's what it is. Oh, that is nice. So this is a nice way to end the video. Okay. What time is it? All right. All right. So we have some things in here. It has instructions. I'm just going to go straight for the instructions. Boom. Instructions. Which I will need. Now, I'm a do-it-yourself guy with a lot of things. The only thing I really can't do is measure. <laughs> or cut. When I say measure, I can measure. Um, I don't know. Like, So, I did everything in this kitchen, but the, uh, the crown molding on top of... Uh, the, you can't even see him from that angle, but there's crown molded on top of the cabinets. And uh, I, I tried to do it myself, but my cuts were just coming out all wrong. So I, I, I just hired someone to, to do that part for me. All right, so I believe this is an auto top off unit. Uh, here's the main unit right here. It'll come to me and I'll, I'll go back to it. All right, so FET grease right here. I hope this is an auto top off. I think that's what it is. All right, we have the hoses right here. A couple other connections. I guess I, I guess in the unboxing, I should open everything, right? Scissors. Now,
Now, in, in this unboxing, the reason why I'm not reading and going over everything, uh, th a lot of this equipment, um, I've never used anything from Aquamedic before. So I'm not an expert on their uh, equipment. During the build, I'm going to become an expert. So that's when I'm going to go over a lot of this stuff a lot more. Okay, because if you have anything on your tank, I think you, you should want to uh, learn as much about it, especially with a reef, if you want to have a successful uh, reef. All right, so we have this right here. Um, this looks like a little uh, thing that you connect uh, to. I have a hose. have this right here, which I don't know what it is. Now I do know what this is. This is going to hold it onto your tank. I know something. I know. My dog is sneezing. All right. So we have that. There's more in the box though. Let's put this back together. I definitely have instructions. That I'm definitely going to need. Hey guys, remember when I would say actually all the time? Remember that? You guys left it in the comments all the time. I did put you in my death notebook, but yeah, we're friends again. All right. So it looks like some more uh, connectors and to connect it to the sump or wherever you're gonna put it. Uh, these are little cushions to, I guess, stop the vibration the vibrations because I'm pretty sure you're going to sit it against the glass. I mean I've done enough tank wars episodes and seen enough to see how they're situated. And um, is pink doing the warranty? What's this? Okay so this is a, a tension or warning maybe not may, a tension. Uh, the hose must be greased before installation so you have to grease the hose. Because um, a lot of people don't read the directions, so it's good that they put that in there. Use more connections for it. Okay, maybe next episode, I'll see you guys' comments from this one. And maybe next episode, I'll make a quick unboxing if you want to see it. If you don't want to just hear me rant because you don't like me, you're really not my friend, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I have friends, you know? Have friends. All right, and then you have your plug. All right, guys. Um, I'm done for today. I know it's not my typical type of edited and flashy video, but I, I wanted to try to do some unboxings. I mean, I get bored easily, so this was fun for me, at least. I'm just sitting in my kitchen. My dogs are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to nobody. Uh, they should be used to it by now. Um... And, and this was really fun. So, guys, I'm trying to see if there's anything I should say. Next next week, I'll continue the unboxings. I have a lot more stuff uh, over there. I may finish it out next week. I think I will. And uh, you will get to see what lights I will be putting on my tank, which will be... I'm excited about that. Um, I have not seen my Refugium um, as of yet. Um, you guys will be seeing my sump, which is crazy. Uh, the sump, um, I had to see that. It wasn't in a box the way it was. It was just, you know, padded inside the, the crate. But um, I cannot wait to show you guys the sump. Sick. So, all right, guys. Until next time, this is The Ultimate Hobby. <laughs>